When you're ready to start today's class, go ahead and grab a strap or a towel or a belt or um, some, something that you can um, wrap around your foot. So a towel works pretty well if you don't have an official yoga strap. That's no problem. Um, we'll use it in a little bit here. So just make sure it's somewhat handy. And we're going to start laying down today. So finding your way to a comfortable spot. Maybe having a little extra pillow or blanket under your head or up over top of you. Shavasana is always an option with your arms and legs outstretched or that lower back friendly constructive rest pose with your feet out a little wider and your knees resting together at the center. Feel free to take a couple experiments and then settle in to stillness if that suits you today. Maybe closing your eyes down, especially if you've had a very external focused day. Externally focused, maybe, maybe you've spent a lot of time focusing on other people or serving people at work or um, what have you. Sometimes if you've had a very internal day, maybe if you've spent the day alone or, you know, not taking in a lot of external stimuli, it might feel nice to keep your eyes open and just softly gaze around your space, maybe not even moving your head, just, just keeping your eyes still. Start to notice your body. On a scale of very loose, very relaxed to very tight and stiff. Where might you be today on that spectrum? And scanning through your body, collecting more information here. Check in with your eyes and the muscles of your jaw and face. Loosening and relaxing wherever you can. Noticing your neck and your shoulders, your arms, hands, and wrists. How's your heart today? How are your nerves today? Sometimes I can manifest in how your stomach might feel or how your digestion is flowing today. Becoming aware of any, anything that needs your attention through the hip joints, the glutes, the pelvis. Noticing your legs, feet and ankles. If you'd like to set a dedication or intention for your practice today, now is a great time to bring something to mind. And if you'd like a suggestion, I'd suggest something along the lines of taking extra special care of your body or your joints, or if there's a certain part of your body, maybe it's the hands today. Some, some kind of focus of extra special care and consideration. I think when we can practice 
focus like that, um, we prove to ourselves that where our attention goes, our energy flows, we can make moves, we can change the way things are little by little. And hopefully these little um, and substantial practices on the mat hopefully can translate off the mat as well in your rest of your life. Deepening your breath now. Let's take a few sighing breaths, inhaling, filling all the way up. Pausing for a moment or two and then exhaling with a sigh when you're ready. <sighs> Go ahead and do that two more times. Feel free to be really dramatic with it, expressive, make some sound. <sighs> Feels fun <laughs> and funny to kind of be over, over dramatic with it or extra. <sighs> Eventually steadying your breath and inviting a little bit of a wiggle through the fingers and toes. Let your head turn to one side and then to the other. We'll head into a long body stretch, straightening your arms and legs and reaching in opposite directions, circling the wrists and ankles, wiggling your toes and fingers. And we'll head to banana pose, walking your heels over toward the left edge of your mat. Grab hold of your right arm or wrist and give the upper body a gentle pull to the left as well. So we find that nice side bend through that right side. And thinking about creating more length and space between your right hip and your right armpit. And breathing more into the right side, the right lung. And start to think about switching sides, eventually walking your heels over toward the right edge of the mat, grabbing hold of your left arm or wrist and directing that over toward the right. This time, side bending and lengthening through your left side, expanding through that left lung, creating just a little more space and stretch between your left hip and your left armpit. When it feels more or less equal, go ahead and release, come back to the center. Let your arms come down by your sides. Stand your feet up now, so bending your knees. If you have something under your neck or your head, go ahead and move those pillows to the side. Let's go through breathing bridge pose a couple of times. So pressing your hands, elbows, and shoulder blades down into the mat. Pick up all of your toes, spread them out, and then set them down. Pressing down through the arms and feet. Inhale, lift the pelvis, reaching your hip points up toward the sky. And exhale, lower down. Paying special attention to the knees. Let's inhale and lift up. If there's any discomfort, maybe toe heel your feet out a little wider or up toward the top of your mat. And exhale to lower. We'll have three more breaths. Option to stay lifted this next time for three breaths or continue the lifting and lowering. Uh, motion there through the breathing bridge pose. If you're staying lifted, maybe tucking your shoulder blades together a little bit more and tucking your chin toward your chest. Just one more breath. And then exhale, lower everything down. Hug your knees in toward your chest and take a little bit of free movement rocking some weight around your back and the sacrum 
with some circling of your knees. Rocking. Okay, next we will need our strap. So let's bring our feet down to the floor. Grab your strap if you have one, uh, or your towel, scarf, whatever works best. Let's go ahead and strap up that right, um, right foot. I really like to have the strap in the middle of my foot, kind of on the arch of the right foot. Um, you choose what you like there. And let's just straighten and lift the right leg. You could choose to hold on to your uh, strap with both hands or one hand, or you could trade off if it seems to get challenging. So let's start to take some little circles of the right leg. So we're just moving through the right hip. So the leg's staying straight. We're just drawing circles. You can imagine that Maybe your heel is a marker <laughs> and you're drawing some circles on the ceiling, going one way to start and eventually switching directions. Okay. And then go ahead and bend your knee, pulling your knee toward the right armpit right elbow out toward the side and then straighten go ahead and do that a couple of times we're bending the knee pulling the knee toward the armpit and then straightening back up okay maybe one more and then we'll start to let that right foot come out toward the right side so the left hand may be coming down to the left side of your mat and opening that right leg out only as far as it feels good. Maybe keeping a slight bend of your knee, especially if you feel that you might be hypermobile in any way. And as always, grabbing any blocks or props for underneath that right leg if you'd like some extra support. Let's take about two more breaths. Hopefully feeling a little bit of stretch there through the inner uh, thigh on the right leg. And then coming back to the center. Switch hands. So the left hand now holds onto your strap and the right arm comes out to the side for support. And as much as you can, keep your left knee and your left leg in line with your hip, left hip. And then see about crossing the right foot over the center line. So we're crossing it toward the left side, almost like you would do, um, your legs would be kind of how you would do if you, you know, sit with your legs crossed. Just having our knees straight though. Hopefully that made sense. So we're getting some internal uh, movement here through that hip. Maybe, you can, maybe you're feeling a little bit through the outside of your right leg or your, or your right hip there. Maybe a little bit of the IT band. And then coming back to the center, go ahead and bend your right knee, bring your leg down, unstrap your foot, and take a moment with both feet on the floor, both arms on the floor. Take a couple of breaths, just noticing anything that's shifted or evolved in our time so far. Hmm. And when you're ready, let's go ahead and strap up that left foot now. Maybe bringing the strap to the center of the arch. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and first, we're just kind of holding the leg up straight. <clears throat> As you're ready, maybe getting that circular motion through the left hip. Kind of feels nice to hold the strap, kind of like reins <laughs> here. One in both one in each hand. Maybe your circles can get a little bigger. Eventually switching directions. And then a couple times through, we will bend into that left knee, pull the left knee toward the left armpit, and then straighten it back up. Just a couple times at your own pace here. Mm. 
and then coming back to the center let's grab hold of that strap with the left hand and start to let your left leg go out toward the left side feeling some stretch hopefully through the inner left leg inner left thigh oh it feels so nice to have a wall <laughs> close by that my foot can rest on that feels like a great prop to use if you're right next to your couch or something that might be nice as well and for about two more breaths check in and see if you are over efforting anywhere see where you might be able to try a little less with the same quality of results And then coming back up to the center, we will switch hands now. So the right hand grabs hold of the strap, <clears throat> right knee and leg staying in line with your right hip. And then crossing the center line, that left leg's reaching over toward the right side. And notice where you're feeling, whatever it is you're feeling. Let's take about two or three more breaths, softening your jaw, softening your face, tuning right in to the sensations. And then come on back to center, bend your knee, bring that left foot down. You can let that strap go to the side for a second here and just rest with both feet and both arms on the floor. Again, noticing any shifts or movements in your experience. And one more thing with the strap here. Go ahead and strap up both of your feet this time together. Again, maybe right at the um, arches. Your feet could be touching or maybe slightly parted if that feels good to you and then we're just gonna pull the legs in so this is a hamstring stretch here uh elbows could pull out toward the sides here and try to keep your low back on the floor so we don't want to be lifting up <laughs> the pelvis too much here we want to focus the movement or the the sensation in the legs instead of in the back just pulling in this is also a really nice way to enjoy if we ever do legs up the wall without the wall or you don't have a wall but you want to still experience that legs up the wall sensation grabbing a strap um, if you have a long enough strap you can actually kind of tie it behind your back so you don't have to hold your legs up just something to consider really good circulation booster okay go ahead and release that bend your knees let the strap go to the side go ahead and turn on to either side and press your way up we'll go right to hands and knees for cat and cow so hands right below the shoulders knees right below your hips fingertips spread out wide and inhale lifting the tailbone lifting your gaze cow pose exhale round your spine tuck your tailbone tuck your chin cat pose inhale cow belly lowers gaze lifts exhale cat pulling the navel in as you exhale Keep going now, finding your own pace. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Add on any extra twists or turns that feel right to you. Okay. And then we'll thread needle next so coming back to your tabletop let's plant that left hand down and with an inhale reach your right arm high 
Rotate out your right wrist, continuing to breathe. Give the right fingers and the right wrist some love, some movement. Wait till your next breath comes. Take it and then exhale, thread the needle, the right hand dipping down and through, setting your right shoulder and right side of your head on the floor or onto props. Your left hand can stay right where it's at or maybe walk that left hand up toward the top of your mat for support. Take a few breaths, focusing your awareness on the right shoulder, the right shoulder blade. And then planting your left hand back up by your face, press your way all the way up, reach your right arm high. Exhale, set your right hand down, we'll switch sides, using an inhale to lift the left arm high, breathe like normal, pausing at the top for some movement through your left wrist and your left fingers. <clears throat> Inhale up at the top and exhale, thread the needle, left arm dips down and through, left shoulder and left side of the head, find the mat or props. Find your hand position that you prefer. And bring your awareness to that left shoulder and that left shoulder blade. Plant your right hand back up by your face. Press your way all the way up, lifting your left arm high. And then come back down, tabletop, all fours. Let's find our way to extended child's pose, bringing your knees out wide, big toes touching behind you. Maybe lowering right down into your uh, child's pose or lifting and lowering a couple times, getting the knees ready eventually perhaps sinking your head and heart down toward the floor find some diaphragmatic breath here letting your belly expand in all directions with each inhale and releasing a little something with each exhale two more breaths One more breath. Eventually rising back up to tabletop. Let's grab our blocks. We'll get ready for our first downward facing dog. So blocks up at the top if you have them, but blocks or not, we'll still have the hands engaged here. Let's curl the toes under, start to pick up the knees, send the tailbone high. Find your breath first and foremost. And then press your hands into the blocks or floor, reaching through your shoulders. With each breath, maybe pedaling out your legs, bending and straightening opposite knees. At some point, uh, there's an invitation here to experiment with coming up to your tippy toes, both tippy toes at the same time, and then creating as much space and length between your hands and your tailbone as possible. Ah, feels, <laughs> feels great. All right, when you're ready, bending both knees, look up toward your hands, and then step or walk your hands to the top. Let's have a, a ragdoll forward fold here. Today, we have the option to toe heel the feet out even wider for a kind of a medium wide legged fold. And letting the upper body be nice and loose. Maybe swaying a little bit. Checking in with your breath anytime it gets lost. Nod your head yes and shake your head no. 
working with gravity to lengthen out your neck and spine. You can try kind of rocking side to side, bending one knee while you straighten the other, vice versa. And then we'll start to toe heel the feet a little closer together now. Tuck your chin toward your chest and then walk your hands up your legs, slowly rising to stand. <sighs> At the top, let's find some free movement, some shaking, some bouncing, getting our circulation going, tending to any uh, stiff joints or anything that needs extra attention. Maybe bouncing the knees or lifting and lowering the heels. You jump a couple times. Just getting everything moving, shaking, shaking anything stuck loose. <sighs> All right. When you're done with that, making your way up toward the top of your mat, spinning the palms to face the front of your space. This is kind of anatomical position. Uh, so the shoulder blades are hugging back behind you, lengthening upward through the crown of your head, through the spine, maybe wiggling your toes and setting them back down for a nice solid foundation. With an inhale, let's rise up to the tippy toes, option to join your hands overhead. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold, heels lower, hinge at your hips, and then release the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's step just the right foot back and lower your right knee down to the mat. You can keep your right toes tucked under or flatten the top of your right foot to the mat. With an inhale, let's rise up. Interlace your fingers at the top. And with an exhale, flip your palms, press your palms high. Maybe finding a little back bend as long as it feels safe in your low back. Squeeze your right glute a little bit more to be um, a little bit more protective of the low back. Eventually, with an inhale, come back up to center. And exhale, lower your hands down to the blocks. Curl your right toes under, pick up your right knee, and then step your left foot back to downward dog. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale, roll forward to your high plank, shoulders over wrist. Exhale, knees lower, and we lower back to child's pose. Your hands could stay up on your blocks, if that feels good on your shoulders or through out the chest. Breathing in and out. One last breath in, one last breath out. Inhale, rise up, tabletop, hands on blocks, curl your toes under, and exhale to downward dog. With an inhale, three-legged down dog with your right toes lifting. Exhale, step just your right foot forward. Take a couple of breaths um, as you get in place here. With an inhale, let's lift the upper body. We're kind of in a high lunge now. Exhale, warrior two, that right or the left heel spins down toward the back of your mat, arms reaching in both directions. Check in with your shoulders and your hips. Make sure you're not too far forward or too far back. We want shoulders and hips aligned. Pick up your toes, spread them out, give them a wiggle, set them back down. Inhale, flip your palms. Join your hands overhead, straighten both legs. Exhale, warrior two. We're bending back into that right knee, gazing past the right fingertips. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach your hands together overhead. 
Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. So both legs straighten, right hand lifts high, left hand slides down the back of the left leg or tucks behind your low back. Inhale, warrior two. Bend back into the right knee, arms reach. Exhale, reverse triangle. One more time, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse triangle. Breathe like normal as you spin the hands up to the top of your mat, grabbing onto your blocks. Pivot on your back toes so all of your toes face the top edge of your mat. And take a big step up toward the top of your mat, forward fold at the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, joining hands overhead. Exhale, hands down to heart center, taking a couple of moments to center yourself. Checking in with your intention, taking extra special care of something maybe. Connect with your breath. Creating that sense of balance in your body between effort and ease. And let's take a clearing breath now in through your nose, sigh through your mouth. Inhale. Lift up to your tippy toes option to join your hands up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Heels are lowering and hands release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down. Step just the left foot back this time. Lower your left knee down to the mat, either keeping your left toes tucked under or flattening to the top of your foot. Inhale, coming on up. Interlace your fingers at the top. Exhale, press, flip your palms and press your palms up toward the sky. Possibly taking a little back bend here, just really engaging through that left glute to protect the low back. One more breath in. And exhale, let go of the hands, bring them down to your blocks. Inhale, pick up. Curl your left toes under, pick up the left knee, and exhale, step your right foot back to downward dog. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Last breath in, last breath out. Let's roll forward to our high plank, shoulders over wrists. And exhale, knees lower, head on back to your child's pose. We have the option here to uh, use our blocks, um, pull them a little bit closer to you. We'll have our elbows resting on the edges of the blocks here hands joining in that prayer position and if it feels okay to you we can dip the chest down between the blocks and uh, the prayer hands coming to the small of your neck there the back of your neck maybe thumbs even pressing in to the base of the skull or neck check in with yourself here if it's not working out or you need some adjustments Go ahead. One more breath in. And out. Make your way back up to tabletop, grabbing or placing your blocks up at the top again if you want to continue using them. Breath in to prepare. And exhale, our last downward dog. 
Once you arrive, let's breathe in. Take that left leg up behind you, three-legged down dog. Exhale, step just that left foot forward. Inhale, rise up to our high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Take a moment to check in with your hips and your shoulders. So easy to get off kilter there. Pick up all of your toes, spread them out, set them back down. Gaze beyond the left fingertips. Inhale, flip your palms, straighten both legs, join your hands overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, warrior two, bending back into that left knee. One more time like that. Inhale, flip the palms, lift up. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Left leg straightens, left arm lifts, right hand slides down the right leg or tucks behind the low back. Inhale, warrior two, bend back into that left leg. Exhale, reverse triangle. One more time, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse triangle. Inhale, come back up to the center. Bring your hands up to the top of your mat. Pivot on your right toes so all of your toes face the top of your mat. But this time we're stepping the left foot back again. Walk your hands to the back of your mat. So you end up in a forward fold at the back. Once you arrive, wait for your next inhale and rise to halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, joining your hands overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center, taking a few moments to find balance. Find and cultivate this sense of homecoming, centeredness. Let's take a clearing breath in through the nose. Big sigh to release. <sighs> Blinking your eyes open. And we'll bring the hands down by the sides for now. Let's do a little balancing series here. So we will come to stand mostly on that right foot. Find our one legged mountain pose here with that left knee lifting hands maybe at your heart or out wide or holding on to something for support exhale open that left knee out toward the left side inhale come back to center exhale straighten the left leg that left heel could touch down or you could keep it lifted either way one more time inhale one-legged mountain Exhale, straighten and touch your left heel down to the floor. Take a step, slow step into the left foot. So you're on the tippy toes of your right foot now. Inhale as you prepare. Exhale, airplane pose. Option to keep your hands at heart center as you tip forward a little bit or fly those arms back by your sides. Either way, those shoulder blades are hugging together behind you and toes facing down toward the floor. With an inhale of your choosing, see if you can make your way all the way back up. One-legged mountain pose this time with your right knee lifting. You can set it down for a moment if you need to. Eventually exhale, open that right knee out toward the right side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, straighten the right leg. One-legged mountain pose on the inhale. Exhale, straighten, touch that right heel down, step into the right foot. We're on the tippy toes now of that left foot. Inhale as you prepare. 
Exhale, your version of airplane or hands at heart center. Tipping forward as we lift that left leg up a little bit behind us. Doesn't have to be much. You could even keep the left toes down on the floor. Choosing your own adventure as always. With an inhale, come back up. Pull that left knee up with you if you can. One-legged mountain. Exhale, set your foot down. <sighs> Give it a little shake, whatever needs to move. And then we're heading down to the floor. But first, let's do a little squat. If you know the type of squat you like, just go ahead and get right into it. If you want to build yourself um, something to sit on, I recommend grabbing both of your blocks and creating whatever level of blocks you think will suit you for the day. I'm going to try stacking both of mine. We'll see. So toes facing out, heels facing in. I'm going to start just bringing the hands down to the knees, maybe just rocking a little bit side to side or dipping a shoulder to the center and the other. It's a good place to stay, especially if the knees don't like too deep of a bend here. If you have a little farther you'd like to go, maybe coming down to your malasana yogi squat, bringing the elbows to the inside of the knees, hands pressing together, elbows kind of opening the knees up a bit. Try to puff your chest up, creating as much of a neutral spine as possible. We're heading down to a seat next, so if you need to head there early, it won't be early at all. I have two more breaths. One more breath. And then make your way down to a seat. Straighten the legs out in front of us now. We'll grab onto our strap once more. Uh, we'll strap up the feet here. Unless you can reach your feet easily, <laughs> we'll use the strap. We'll sit up nice and tall here first. So your arms extended, toes pulling back, so we're flexing the ankles. We're sitting up nice and tall. With an exhale, let's start to forward fold a little bit here, but puff up with the chest, like you're trying to get your chest toward, or your heart toward your toes, and keep your head lifted. So it doesn't have to be far. You can give and take here. You can come out of the pose, maybe inhaling as you rise, and then exhaling as you find that little fold forward, or you can hold steady. Always options to move or rest. In a pose. Okay. One more time or one more breath. Good. Coming back up, release that strap, let it go to the side now, and lower your way down to your back. Let's hug the knees in. Take more free movement here, rocking some weight around your back and sacrum, ironing things out, helping your body process all the stuff we've been doing today. Let's take a nice twist next. So we'll bring our feet down to the floor. Arms could come out wide. Let's pick up the hips, scoot them way over toward the left edge of the mat, and then allow your knees to start twisting and lowering to the right. Maybe grabbing some blocks to rest your legs on. We wanna keep that left shoulder blade connected to the floor. And possibly turning your head and gaze toward the left the opposite way your knees are twisting. And letting these few moments in stillness illuminate any over-efforting here. 
No need to try too hard. Find that sweet spot. And then start to think about switching sides, bringing everything back to center, and then scooting pelvis this time over toward the right edge of your mat. And then let your knees lower toward the left. Gaze slowly turning toward the right, if you so choose. And letting stillness again help you to see things in a new way. Maybe noticing patterns or tension tendencies popping up. And trying not to judge, but to be with whatever comes up. When you're ready, coming back to center. Any last movements, poses, or stretches that you are wanting or needing, you can move through those now. And as soon as you're ready for your final rest, choose a position that you'd like. Maybe Shavasana, arms and legs out long. Or constructive rest again with your feet standing up and your knees resting together at the center. Perhaps you take legs up the wall or whatever else your body wants. Settling in and seeing just how efficiently you might be able to sink into this state of restfulness. Letting your body catch up. I am minding the time here so you don't have to be responsible for anything except for resting. Soften your jaw. Relax the root of your tongue. Resting your awareness either at heart center or maybe at the center of your brain. Resting your awareness in one of these seats, if you will. Letting any energetic tangles or knots just soften out. Letting your body find its flow in a spacious, supportive way. And know that you are welcome to continue resting and just stay here as long as you'd like. 
Otherwise, taking another breath or two before beginning your reawakening. In a nice, gentle way, subtly moving maybe fingers and toes. Maybe letting your head rock from side to side. Maybe yawning. Swallowing. Eventually making your way into the fetal position, rolling onto either side, slightly tucking your knees in. Take at least one more breath there. No rush. And then eventually press your way up to a comfortable seat. Let's join hands at heart center. <clears throat> Sitting up nice and tall. Om Shanti 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 Peace in our actions, peace in our words, peace in our thoughts. Bringing thumbs up to third eye center. Let's seal our class together with a little bow forward in gratitude. Peace.